All right, Bob Chick here for MD. I'm here with the winner, Fouad Abiyad, number one here in Orlando. You qualify for the 2015 Olympia, my friend. Congratulations. Thank you, Bobby. It's been a long time coming, man. Long time coming. Finally got one. Yeah, you sure did. And this has been a long time coming. We were talking earlier. I can't believe it's been since 08 since you were on the Olympia stage. Seven years have passed. That's freaky to me. Yeah, yeah man, time flies. It's like I think I wrote something on Instagram recently. It's like one off season goes by one show goes by you know just they keep rolling you know you get an injury you get sick you get this you get that next thing you know seven years have gone by and i'm just now getting back to the olympia so i mean this was my goal all along though was to win a small show or win a show and uh the secondary goal was to get back to the olympia and hopefully place in the top 10. So that's where my focus is right now. I got, I knocked down one goal, and now I'm going to try and knock down the other. Well, we were here last year in, in similar fashion, except you took second place to Branch. It was kind of a last minute, you know, 11th hour entrant because he needed the qualification. He ended up coming up on top, um, but you were certainly very good in second, even though you were fighting some some stomach issues at that point. Uh, I know you were ill for most of that show, but you toughed it out. Uh, this year went a little bit, a lot of bit smoother for you, uh, and, and obviously you came in here, you were fighting the whole way. Look right after prejudging. A lot of people had you uh, squarely in the in the winner's circle at that point. So it, it had to feel good this year being 100%. Uh, it felt really good. You know what? It was such mixed emotions yesterday because I got so many emails, texts, uh, direct messages, whatever you want to call it, from so many different people saying, you got it, man. It's your win. You finally got your win, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? I've been around this block so many times where – after prejudging, so many people have told me, you got the win, yeah, right. only to take second. So I had such mixed emotions because I'm like, all those people can't be wrong. But at the same time, I don't trust any of them because I've heard this all before. Yeah, yeah, right. So I just kept myself humble and quiet and didn't say anything. And that's why when you announced me the winner, it was finally like this just level of elation came out of me that like, man, I can't even describe it. I, I was trying to stop crying. But I couldn't stop crying. It just was just coming out of me. So hey, listen, you know, it's an emotional game. It's a long journey for bodybuilders. Obviously, months and months of preparation. Uh, but no man does it alone. Uh, you were quick to be thanking some people out there. So I know you want to take that opportunity now. Yes. Uh, first and fo foremost, I want to thank SciTech. Our sponsors are always left kind of by the wayside like we just thank them like on a on a yeah just like oh and i want to thank so and so no SciTech has been very very um they're like a family to me kind of you know they vary like do you need this do you need that what do you need for your prep what do you need like when i travel for expos what do you make let's make sure you stay on your prep they actually really care about their athletes they keep signing them they have a huge stable of athletes now but they take care of all of them equally so I want to thank SciTech first and foremost for really, really taking care of me and making sure that I have the things I need to get where I need to be. Um, secondly, my wife, I mean, geez, I've been with her for seven years. So for seven years, she's been hearing me bitch about not getting back to Olympia. <laughs> so so I, uh, she's been through hell and back. And then, you know, I brought, I said, I called out Paul Lozon the minute I, I won. And obviously not because it's more important than my wife, but when you train with somebody for seven years, like we've, been, we've been training together for more than seven years, actually. He was with me before I even got my pro card. When you train with somebody for like a decade and he's with you there through every loss and every victory and every close call and every, every little thing, it's like we're winning together, man. So it's like it was really – it's weird. It's like uh, – it's almost like – it's almost like you're winning for yourself, but you're kind of bringing everybody along with you. So it's like you're kind of winning with them too, you know? Absolutely. It's like they get to win with you. And uh, I don't know how many people understand that, but but I know how he, I know I could see the look in his eye, and I could see he was as happy as I was that I won because he was coming with me. So it just, anyway. Well, I know you're going to be enjoying this victory, Fwad. Let's talk about the uh, not-too-distant future. The 2015 Olympia, Joe Eater's 51st being celebrated this year. Probably going to be bigger and better than even the 50th was last year. That was huge. Um, but you're going to be on stage, man. I mean, now you're looking at things are a little different. You've changed over seven years. You got in. You got your feet wet. You know, 
down in the bottom third of the order. Okay, you know, it's your first Olympia. Now it's your second Olympia. Now you're a winner on the circuit. Things have changed. Yeah. Um, the last time I stepped on stage at the Olympia, I was 230 pounds. I weighed in today at 260 pounds. So bigger isn't always better, but I think in my case it is. So my goal this year, you know, I'm, I'm not one of these guys. I've never been one of these guys who's like, I'm going to be the best ever, blah, 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 because that guy always ends up looking like shit. I'm just going to say this. I hope to beat what I showed here. Uh, I spoke to Lee Thompson after the show, and I said, you know, what can I improve on because I want to be better? Because I know this wasn't my best. Sure. I mean, it's been my best to date, but I know I can still improve. And Lee said, you know, just get a little bit sharper. And I, and I know what he means. I, I think I have an issue where from the back I'm getting detailed, but I'm not getting that same detail from the front. So my goal is to show up at the Olympia and crack the top 10. That's, that's the ultimate goal. And then hopefully one of the ways I can do that is by bringing in more detail from the front. Very realistic and very reasonable that, that you would uh, expect a top 10 finish fought. I'm sure there's plenty of supporters out there that echo that sentiment. But congratulations here in Orlando, my friend. We'll see you in Las Vegas you, at the Olympia stage for the 2015 Mr. Olympia.